KFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 24, NASDAQ up 33, S&Ps up 12. And hang on for the ride, folks, because I'm sure that there's many of you that went to bed, woke up, and, of course, you just see markets higher. Well, intranight, <laughs> uh, this baby got down to 3181. Fast, furious, S&Ps basically plunged lower, shook it off, come all the way back, bonds moved tremendously higher. Gold moved tremendously higher. Both of them gave it up on price. If we take a look at the 10-year, the yield on the 10-year, this is pretty amazing when you take a look at this. We went down to 1.70 last night. Now, bottom line is that when you get a plunge like that, my take is that we are going to get retested. You just don't plunge down into those uh, numbers and come all the way back uh, miraculously. Market has, no doubt, and I do what I do expect we're going to see out here is this NDX 100, folks, is really strong. That NDX 100 wants to go test its highs. We're up 39 points right now. You know, the high of yesterday inside the NDX was uh, 88.94, where we hit 88.96, and game is on for 89.07. I do expect we're going to see that thing get hit out here today. Notes and bonds, they just continue to want higher price. Now, both of them gave it up on price last night. Monster volume, though. And when you have higher volume, you're going higher, bottom line, that level is also going to get tested. Right now, uh, inside the 10-year, we have the 10 years at 129.07. We've already, we, uh, we hit 130.06. We did what, we've already done 1.7 million contracts. So what that sets up, that sets up uh, an additional test of that high, and we'll see where it shakes out. Uh, what I expect we're going to see out here today is that the volatility is going to continue in this marketplace. The real question is going to be uh, how fast uh, these markets are actually going to be. King dollar, King dollar is at 97, 1 to 24. Now, King dollar at 97, 141, which it hit uh, over that today, that would bring you back in the higher range. What ended up happening here is that uh, it hasn't held price. We'll see whether King dollar gets under 97, 105. That's what we'd have to get under in order to basically continue um, into lower price. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Um, and you can hang on because I expect that you're going to have a nice little session with the high volatility. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 36, NASDAQ up 34, S&P's up 12 and a half. Come right back. <laughs> 